Hi, my name is Sue. Welcome to this slow and gentle yoga practice. Let's get started in a seated position. Sit however is comfortable for you. If you have yoga blocks, you can support your knees with the blocks. We don't need to have props today. And then shut the eyes down. Close your eyes. We're going to explore opposites in this practice today, starting with a place of ease. Relax the shoulders. Soften the jaw. Let go of any efforting if you're trying to lengthen the spine up. Instead, find heaviness in the sits bones rooting into the earth. From behind your closed eyes, imagine the glow of a candle beside you. Feel yourself relaxing as you watch the beautiful patterns made by the light of the candle. Picture the soft light it creates. Notice the flame gently moving as the candle burns. Imagine that the candle gently melts away the stresses and tensions you have been holding in your body. Feel the tension easing and relaxing. Notice the wax becoming softer. And feel your body also becoming softer. Slowly open the eyes. Inhale, reach the arms around and up. And exhale, draw the hands to heart center, aligning breath with movement. Inhale, reach around and up. Exhale, stretch over to the right. Plant the right hand. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop to the left. Move side to side with your breath, inhaling at center, and then exhaling to either side. While there's some effort to find this shape, also cultivate an ease in your flow. And that might be in the fingertips. Maybe it's in the legs. Maybe the breath. And then inhale, rise to center. Exhale, draw the hands down the midline. Heart center. Bring the hands to the thighs. As you inhale, shift forward, chest to right knee. Come to the center, shift the torso to the left, and then exhale back and around. Rolling in circles and moving with your breath. And then come back to center forward, reverse directions. Coming to the right, back and around. Gently warming up the hips. And then rise back to center. Inhale, lift the shoulders up, back, and down, and take a few rolls. And then reverse directions. and release the shoulders back down. Bring the arms out to the sides, cross the right arm under the left, 
Grab opposite palms or opposite shoulders, whatever is accessible to you. Lift the elbows up and then start to press the hands away from your face, opening the back body. From here, draw the low belly in. Keep some softness in the face. As you inhale, maybe lift the elbows higher, gaze comes up, and then exhale, fold forward. On the inhale, draw the belly in, rise up, open the heart, gaze lifts. Exhale, unwind the arms, shake out the shoulders. Other side, arms come out to the side. Left arm sweeps under right, opposite hands, opposite shoulders. Lift the elbows, press the forearms away. Breathe opening into the tops of the shoulders that space between the shoulder blades. Lift the elbows a little higher, gaze comes to the fingertips. Deep breath in and exhale, hinge forward, release and round. Inhale, press back up. Open the heart and exhale, release the arms, shake it out. Make your way forward to tabletop position. Align the joints, shoulders stacked over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the tailbone for cow. And then exhale, tuck and round. Two more just like that. Lengthening the spine forward and up. Pressing back into the hands, thighs. Press forward one more. Release back to neutral tabletop position. On the inhale, bring that right arm up and open. Exhale. Draw the hand through the arms, come to the back of that right hand, back of the right shoulder, release onto your ear. Walk the left hand forward and press gently back for a deeper opening behind the right shoulder. So there's a bit of intention to hold this pose to maintain the shape, where can you find a place to let go? Walk the left hand under the shoulder, inhale, press up, open the right arm, and exhale back down to tabletop. Inhale, left arm sweeps up, Exhale, float it through, thread the needle, come to the back of that left shoulder, release onto the left ear. And then walk the right hand forward about a handprint, press into the hand to rotate and deepen into that left shoulder. Walk the right hand under the shoulder. Inhale, rise all the way up, open the heart. Exhale, release back to tabletop. Make your way onto your forearms. Come down onto your belly. Keep the toes tucked under. Shoulders are over elbows. Isometrically draw the hands towards you and lift out and up for sphinx pose. Keep pressing into the toes to lengthen forward. Kneecaps lift. And then on the exhale, 
bend the knees, press into the knees, round the spine, gaze between your, your knees. Inhale, drop the belly. Lengthen forward and up for Sphinx Pose, kneecaps lift. Exhale, come to knees, round the spine like you're in a little cat pose here. Inhale forward, belly drops, lengthen. Exhale, knees and round. Pull navel to spine. Inhale, come forward and lower all the way down. Bring the arms by your sides, palms face down, forehead to the mat. Untuck the toes, press into the tops of the feet. On the inhale, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep pressing into the hands, press into the tops of the feet. Exhale, lower down. Hands under shoulders, inhale, press up. Widen the knees, big toes touch, and release back for a child's pose. Hips come to heels, forehead to the mat. Maybe come back to the image of the melting candle. And as you envision the wax melting, Feel that letting go in your body, surrender the chest a little closer to the mat. Walk the hands forward, lift the elbows, come to fingertips and press into the fingertips to sit the hips back a little deeper. Release the palms. Inhale forward to tabletop. Tuck the toes under. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. On the inhale, roll forward to plank, top of a push-up. Check that your shoulders are over the wrists. Heels press back. And then exhale up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, draw the knee in, hover. Release the shin underneath you. Kick stand the right foot out to the side. Shift over onto that right hip. And then float the left arm. Seal into that outer edge of the left foot. Stay here or lift the left leg. Maybe bend the knee, reach back for top of the foot or ankle. And then press the heart open. Slowly release the leg if you have the bind. Foot comes down and we'll meet back in tabletop. Shake out the hips. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through the nose, hold it at the top, and then open the mouth, let it go. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, draw the knee in, release the shin. Flip the left toes out to the side. Come over onto that left side as the right arm reaches up. Back leg is straight and seal down into the outer edge of the right foot. Reach up through the fingertips. Take weight out of that left hand and maybe lift the right leg, bend the knee, reach back for foot or ankle, and then open the heart. If you're over-efforting here, what can you let go of? Exploring those opposites as we release the foot. 
Come back down, tabletop. Shake out the hips. And then come to stillness, take a few cat-cows to realign. Drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale round, press the thighs forward. Move with your breath. And then eventually we will make our way back to downward facing dog. You can always stay in tabletop. That's an option. Take child's pose if you need it. Modify to fit your body. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, draw the knee in. Step the foot between the hands. And on the inhale, rise up, high lunge. So we're going to explore some physical opposites here. As the tailbone draws down, the torso lifts up. So it's not just an upward reaching motion. There's a lengthening down and rooting through the tailbone, and then a lifting action through fingertips and crown of the head lengthening the spine in opposite directions. Seal the back foot down parallel to the back of the mat and then open the arms reaching in opposite directions, warrior two. Check that the right knee is tracking over the right ankle. Check that your arms are coming straight out from the shoulders. Relax the shoulders. And then drop the back hand, flip the front palm, reach up, reverse warrior. Exhale, release back, warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Hop the back foot in about a foot. Reach forward. Drop the right hand and lift the left arm for triangle pose. So you may not want to reach all the way down to the ankle. That will turn the torso down. Find a spot on your leg where you can turn the sternum to face upward or straight out. Focusing on that lift and opening. On the inhale, bend into the front knee, rise the arms, warrior two. On the exhale, frame the front foot. Step back to a high plank. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Always the option to flow through vinyasa if that's in your practice. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, hover the knee, step the foot between the hands, and set up high lunge as you inhale, arms lift forward and up. And as you exhale, settle in, pinkies spin in towards you, towards each other. So again, find that opposite pull in the spine from the belly button out. Rooting down through the tailbone, lifting up through the crown of the head, finding length. Spin the back foot down parallel to the back of the mat. Open the arms, warrior two. Drop the back hand, flip the front palm, reach the fingers up, reverse the warrior. Keep bending into that front knee. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Back foot comes in. Hinge straight forward, drop the left hand, and reach the right hand up. Triangle pose. Inhale, rise, bend into the front knee, warrior two. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step the back foot forward, take a forward fold. Bend the knees deeply and grab opposite elbows. Mm -hmm. 
Lift the hips high, drop the crown of the head. Keeping the bind, holding opposite elbows. Inhale, slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time, coming to standing. Still holding the elbows. On the inhale, lift the arms overhead. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, lift to center. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, rise back up. And on the exhale, release the bind, bend the knees with a flat back, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway, hands to shins, flatten the back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, step back to a high plank. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Optional vinyasa. Maybe take a child's pose. From downward facing dog, on the inhale, right leg lifts. Bend the knee, open the hip. Drop the heel down towards your hip. Work on squaring the shoulders to face the mat. Inhale, extend the leg long, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot between the hands and spin the back foot down parallel to the back of the mat. Rise up, warrior two. We've been here before. So arms reach in opposite directions. Isometrically draw the feet toward each other, strengthen the legs. And as you feel that strength in your legs, notice the torso simply floating over the hips. Again, that exploration of opposites. Drop the back hand, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior, reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, back warrior two. Front elbow to front knee. Lift the top arm. Press that shoulder blade back. And on the inhale, rise back up, warrior two. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step back to a high plank. You can always modify to knees. Up and back, downward facing dog. Again, stay in tabletop. All the poses are accessible from tabletop. If you need to catch your breath, take a child's pose. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee comes in, hover, and step the foot between the hands, back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Press into those strong legs, rise, warrior two. Keep pressing into the outer edge of that right foot. And then find a softening in the shoulders. Legs strong, upper body soft. Drop the back hand, flip the front palm, reach up, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Front elbow to front knee, lift the right hand. Take weight out of the left elbow, reach up through the right fingertips. Inhale, rise, warrior two. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step back to a high plank, top of a push-up. Downward facing dog, optional vinyasa. And then we'll all meet in child's pose. Knees to the mat, knees wider together, and then hips drop to the heels. Release the forearms.
Notice the contrast between movement and stillness. On the next inhale, come forward to tabletop. Come over onto one side into a seated position. Legs straight in front of you. Bring the sole of the left foot inside the right thigh. Flex the right foot. Turn the torso so it's facing that right leg. As you inhale, lift the arms forward and up. On the exhale, flat back, fold forward. Release the hands. Finding opening in the back of that right leg. At the same time, soften the shoulders. Inhale, come to fingertips, lift halfway and lengthen. Exhale, redrape the body. Send the nose toward the big toes. Toward that big toe. Walk the hands toward you, rise back up. Help that left leg in, extend it long and bend the other knee. Sole of the foot inside the right, the left thigh this time. Flex the left foot, turn the torso. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, and exhale, hinge. Inhale, come to fingertips, lengthen halfway, and then exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, come on back up. Extend the right leg. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Hands behind you, fingertips towards the heels. As you inhale, press into the feet and hands lift the hips, reverse table. Keep a slight tuck in the chin, squeeze the glutes. And exhale, lower all the way down. Make your way onto your back, mindfully lowering. When you get there, bring the knees into the chest, squeeze. Bring the hands to the knees and make circles with the knees. Inhaling forward and around. Exhale on the way back. Outline the entire perimeter of the sacrum. That bony plate at the base of the spine. And then pause, reverse directions. Bring the breath with you. And then come back to center, squeeze the knees in. Cactus or tee the arms, drop the knees to the right for a gentle twist. You can keep your gaze towards the knees, look straight up, or rotate toward the left. On the inhale, gather the knees back to center. Realign. Cactus or tee the arms, drop the knees to the left. Find a comfortable spot for your gaze that works in, with your neck and try not to over rotate.
Inhale, knees come back to center. Give them a big squeeze. And then bring the legs long on the mat. Allow the feet to splay open. Palms face up beside you. Close the eyes for our final pose where we completely let go. Let go of the breath, let go of the body. Soften the face, the belly, heavy the hips and the legs. Final relaxation. Shavasana. Behind your closed eyes, notice again the soft flame at the top of the candle. See how it flickers slightly in response to your breath as you exhale. Watch how the flame responds each time you breathe. Now turn your attention back to the wax of the candle. The softening wax is melting, turning to liquid, warm and flowing, free from tension. Watch the wax melting, feeling the same effects on the tension in your body, melting, Relaxing. You are welcome to stay in Shavasana for as long as you like. If you are ready to reawaken, Bring some gentle movement back into the body. Softly wiggle toes and fingers. Maybe rock the head side to side if that feels good. When you're ready, bring the knees into the chest and roll over onto your right side. Fetal position, a symbol of reawakening. Coming back to that concept of opposites, we go from Shavasana, corpse pose, to fetal position, and reawaken. Press up to a comfortable seat, Close the eyes. Bring the hands into heart center. Take a deep breath in through the nose, hold it at the top. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it all go. Sealing your practice. The light in me sees and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.